Yo, what's happening, people? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Roll On, Roll Off, the podcast. I'm back again. You already know, retired Marco. And across from me, I've got Uncle Colo, aka Mr. Mr. Believe. Get yeah, me, get yeah, me. Now, but, me. But we're across from the table now. Yeah, 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 yeah. me. New production yeah, up yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Price gone up. Not really, but so. <laughs> <laughs> to my right, obviously, you know, he's a. Uh, <laughs> He's running a bit late. You'll see him yeah. coming when he comes in. Should man be, down. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too too long, but yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Talk to me nice today, fam. Get me that. Huh? Allow me today. Get me. Right. How can you tell me to talk to you nicely, fam? To you should nicely, be talking to me nicely. What do you mean? I ain't said nothing, fam. Yeah, I'm I know just, you ain't said nothing. I know. I'm just letting you know as you get me. As, yeah, but you should be talking to me nicely or don't talk to me at all, fam. It's fam, obviously, we got to uh, hold the L. Oh, the, oh, I thought it was a terrible performance. Do you know what? I didn't even want to watch the game. You don't, I didn't it, even it doesn't want to, want to get into how his week was or anything like no, that. No, no, let's no. Let's just no. get, that. Let's just get that. straight into it. Okay. Forget that. I've been at work, so there's not much to say. So the, uh-huh. the game that I was looking forward to is the game. You get me? So, um, oh. Oh, speak look, of the devil. Look, look who popped Red in the devils. neighborhood. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um... Yeah, fam. All good, G. All good, G. You said, but yeah, man. Um, all right, going into going into the game, yeah. It was a stinker. <laughs> yeah, no, but even go, going into the going into the game, mm-hmm. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to play you lot. I saw your lineup, pretty much a predictable lineup. Who I thought would play, I thought Jota would have started. Mm-hmm. Um. That's the guy that I was kind of wary about because even at international duty, he's been banging. Mm-hmm. So he was going to come into this game on form. So I was like, all right, cool. He's not started. Diogo shot her. <laughs> yeah, so. Super subs. But boy, yeah. yeah go on, so, guys. Say it, go on, guys. Um, so was it, what, Firmino, Salamane up top. Um, and then, yeah, I saw your lineup. I thought, okay, cool. Predictable lineup. I saw our lineup. Mm. And I was like, oh, man. I had. Um, we had Sabios and Party. I don't like that partnership. Why? Because Sabios doesn't compliment Party well. Why? Because he's too inconsistent for yeah. one. And Party and Shaka yeah. are a better duo, yeah. a pivot duo yeah. than Sabios and, and Party. But wasn't Thing injured? Who Shaka? Yeah. Yeah. So he was injured. So obviously we had to bring. Yeah. We had to bring in. Or El Nene. We had to bring in Sabios. <laughs> so um. Yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, that. And then, obviously, Saka, Saka's injured as well. Louise is injured as well. That's so like a baby, fam. What? It's <laughs> <laughs> not good we go there. Like, how do we get there? It's not like a newborn baby. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm just like, what does it mean? Am I smelling Johnson's baby powder or something, fam? What's that? It's good, what can I say? My bad, my bad, my bad. What can I say? Stun the man, then, you see? <laughs> but yeah man so oh. yeah Louise is in so we went from like no injuries yeah. to everyone just dropping like flies because everyone's like because Louise now is got, apparently need surgery on his yeah, knees yeah. Uh, Saka's out I don't know how serious that is Teeny came off as well which looked pretty bad mm. don't yep. know if that's ligament damage so I, I don't know but when he came off you look crumbled um, that left, that left nah, side I wouldn't, I wouldn't say difference. we crumbled that left side that left side was weak no, I wouldn't say we crumbled though. We we was on a back foot yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they we were, were pinned it. back yeah, anyway. So yeah, yeah. I feel like the first half we defended yeah. well. I think we were pretty tight, but we weren't going anywhere. So we was just we was just inviting pressure. Mm. We was just sitting deep, and was like, all right, cool. We just got to ride the wave and hopefully get on a counter. But mm. every time we got the ball out, we just cleared it to you. Would we you had th- the highlight. Like, everyone was on the halfway line. Yep. Yep. What do you think, Arteta? What was the game plan? What, Arteta, what did he say to Sit the lads? Back. Sit back. That's what you said, yeah. Yeah, we can't take it to Liverpool, not with the injuries that we had and the players that we had. We could, if we took it to them, it would have been worse than three 0 because they would have just opened us up even more, and then the lights of Trent and Robertson were just bombing down. Uh, Mane and Salah, Firmino, they were closing. So, if we take it to them and start to play our football, then yeah, it would have just been worse. But I think first half we defended well. It was just one of those games that we just were happy to take a point, but. First goal went in, and then the other goal went in, what, like four minutes later? Four or five minutes Something later? Like that, yeah. that was game done. That was game done for me. And you could tell a body language of our players, heads are dropping. And then the third goal, that's just embarrassing. Salah is down Flintstone. He's, huh? he's part of the Flintstone. The twinkle toes, you know, he rolls the bowling ball. Who? 
Flintstones. What's his name? Do you remember the Flintstones? Yeah, yeah Fred Flintstone. Yeah, yeah. Fred Flintstone, that's it. Yeah. When he does the bowling, yeah. he's on his twinkle toes. I'm going to call Salah that from now on. Fred Flintstone. The way he galloped over him. <laughs> the way he galloped over him. Cause <laughs> over Gabriel. The way he went over him, fam. Oh it was too God. easy, bro. Too easy. Gabriel had a shocker. Um, he was getting lucky first half because he was making mistakes first half. Um, but no, I, I, we, we just played bad. I think no one really had a good game. I think Tierney pretty much had a solid game. Mm. Everyone else was poor. Uh, Lacazette gives, he, he always gives a good shift. Mm. So he's always going to give us a good performance. But Aubameyang gave us nothing. Mm. Pepe, I can't get onto too yeah, much. He did work yeah. hard, but there's no service. Yeah. Do you know why you lost the game? Nothing. Go on, tell me. Tell me why we lost the game, go on. Aubameyang's hairstyle. <laughs> Anyways. I, I, saw on Twitter, <laughs> I saw on Twitter, there was like, Travis Scott, Travis <laughs> not. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what he does with his No, hair, do you bro, see it? It was, um, this is Aubameyang and Pepe, and it was Poet, yeah, and Specs. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I saw In that. Canada, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the tops on. Top like Yo. <laughs> but nah, man, this, it was just poor. No one had, Odegaard was lost. But again, it, it, our creative players didn't have much to do because we didn't have the ball. Yeah. Like, the possession was mad. It was like 70 to 30. So, and like, it's, it's crazy. We is had what, two, three shots on target the whole game. Tobias, is it Tobias? Yeah. What about yeah, him? poor. Yeah, it was poor. He can go, he doesn't <clears> want to <throat> be here. He's yeah. only here because Real Madrid don't want him. So get rid of Ceballos. I'll take Odegaard all day long. Um, you're not going to keep him. Stay? I don't, do you he's, think he's going to stay? He's not staying. I think he, I think he will. It depends. If, if Zidane is still at Real Madrid, mm -hmm. he, I think he will push for a move. Um, but we have to see at the end of the season. I think he'll get a loan Zidane deal, season loan deal. I'm we've, got him on a, we've got him on loan now. Yeah, but I know for next season, I'm talking about if you don't want him... Like permanently, I don't think it will happen. But alone, I feel like mm. either either way, I want him at my club. I think he's done pretty well since he's come in. Mm. He's done way more than Sabayas. Where, where too was um, for me. Smith Rowe? He's injured. He's as injured, as well. injured as well. That's what I'm saying. That it, all our players are just dropping like flies now, mm. which ain't good because we've got Europa League coming up this Thursday. First leg of the quarterfinals, Prague. Oh, it's so, like Prague. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's not looking good. So we again this 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 season's a write off league wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just gonna try to do what you do in terms of like Europe, just try to get that. Do you know what I mean? To try to solidify for next year. But I think we I think we were poor. And the last goal was just embarrassing. I think it just says a lot about our body language. Yeah, yeah. I know Gabriel, Marley was Gabriel's yeah. body Upset. language. Yeah. Even Party. I, I give credit to Party. Party played well, but he was playing by himself. So Bios offered him nothing. But El Nene came on as well, though. El Nene came on and did nothing, really. He, mm. He's always going to give us energy. He likes mm. to run around a lot. But it's the quality, yeah. it's not good enough. Yeah. I like El Nene. I've got a soft spot for him. But it's yeah. just not good enough. Yeah, like, yeah. if we want to progress yeah. and move forward, we need better players. It's just as simple as that. Mm. But, but yeah, that, that's my take on my team. But cool, obviously, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, sorry, one last thing, yeah. Top four, top four, top four. Fabinho, yeah. he, he, he's miles ahead of every, any DM mm -hmm. in the league. Mm -hmm. Who? Fabinho. Oh. He's miles ahead of any DM yeah. in the league. And Fandinho, and probably yeah. in Probably in Europe. And Fandinho as well. Fabinho is better than Fandinho yeah, yeah. for me. And that's miles. what I was, I was just about to say. That's the reason why you lost the game. Fabinho and Thiago, yeah. they just manhandled that midfield. They did. That's like that, this is what I've been saying. Fabinho in the middle. Yeah, he's quality. Man. It sustains the attacks. So even when you're trying to get out, he's there. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So you can't get out. That's why the only thing Arsenal could do was punt the ball upfield. Because yep. he's going to be on you. Like, yeah. So then what that helps us to do, we then can camp in your half. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can then, you know, wave after wave after wave. And that's how we would normally, you know, break down teams. At least now, Phillips and Kabak. You know, Quebec, I got a shout out because, you know, even though, like I said, I see Lovren tendencies in him, he's he's stepped up his game a lot. Like, But I think also as well, I think at the beginning, which is what I was saying, he needs time. So even goals like when he was conceding to, to Leicester, mm. that miscommunication with Alisson, yeah. it's, that's because of not um, having the time within the team to, to, to get settled and think yeah. like Phillips and Quebec now, those two are our longest pair of centre backs playing together season. all season and yeah. they've only played I think 227 minutes together that's crazy. so that's literally the equivalent of maybe I think three games three, together yeah, three and a bit game, basically yeah. mm -hmm. that's that's the equivalent of what they've been playing but so they've started to get an understanding Phillips is still a bit 
in, but you know yeah. Arsenal didn't really uh, test him, so yeah. it was it was easy. They had nothing to do. They had really. nothing to do really. I, I saw. I yeah, I your saw. your back line was comfortable. It was easy. It was an easy game. Trent as um, well. Trent. Um, come back Trent, to did, himself. See, Trent. This kind of game Trent has is on is a, like I would say personally, it's like a normal game. But what it is is because Trent because the team hasn't been flying. It's like okay, cool, like maybe people are missing chances or mm -hmm. like but defensively this is another like big game trend come through easily that's a great yeah ball for, yeah and then it's a great yeah. great ball for the goal but mm. i just want to say like on the defensive aspect first obviously okay cool arsenal didn't have a lot but it always happens whenever we play teams it's like when trent has a say a bad game or is exposed defensively is always super highlighted but mm -hmm. when he has these games um against the bigger teams and it's not it's, yeah, about. it's not it's not talked about. Not Defensively, talked about, yeah. it's not talked but about. But to be fair, against Aubameyang, but yeah, but against easy. Aubameyang, you know, yeah, he's always gonna have it easy. You game. already know my. Aubame Aubameyang's only good when he's running in behind. Yeah, like when he's picking up the ball at a halfway line, he does nothing. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah. gives us nothing yeah, yeah. going forward because he's a striker. But that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's like us playing Origi at um, um, left wing. It's like it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Origi, but Origi can he can dribble a bit more than say Aubameyang, but yeah. he doesn't. It just doesn't work with him out wide. No, but, no. but yeah, getting back to the game. So I wanted to just highlight Trent because Trent yeah. had a great game. Mm. Um, Fabinho and Thiago in the middle were so good that we didn't even matter how crap Milner was playing. That's <laughs> how good. That's how, how martial the midfield was. Like oh. Milner was just useless. Like Milner, like I respect Milner. And, like, and obviously... I understand the qualities that you know Klopp sees in him in terms of maintaining standards of mm -hmm. the team, but his body is finished. Yeah, he's always what it's, 35? Yeah, that 35, 36. Yeah, like his yeah. body's finished. Yeah. But I understand like um the tenacity he brings, um, the levels of maintaining it, being a leader. So I understand why he's in the team. Yeah. But his body's finished. But that's what I'm saying. Fabinho and Thiago were so good. Mm. That it was, it didn't matter how you know Mil Milner had a sit like to me it was a sitter that was pulled back to him, um, and he you know he missed the goal completely, yeah, um, in the first half, um, and then yeah the front three for Mane, I think Mane is getting back to a decent level in terms of his overall play, just his attack. I don't like, think he was great. Yeah, I no, I think his overall play in terms of like the carrying the ball and being more threatening, but I feel. Like with him, he's still his um, final third. Yeah, still yeah, yeah. crap. It's still crap. Um, and I and I can I can accept it when Jota's on the pitch because with Jota and Salah, those are two people where you know that's the threat right mm -hmm. there. Like they're gonna, those are the ones that are gonna get the goals. For me, no. And Mane, they just seem to be the vibes. You know, kind kind of flicks, <laughs> kind of yeah. tricks. Yeah. Um, yeah, flicks and tricks. You know, kind of like highlight moments, couple dribbles, yeah. but Salah and Jota are drillers. And 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 I want to say now, Mane, it was a bit. I I, I don't want to say he's like Traore. <laughs> you have said that. I said it. I, I I'm gonna <laughs> recant that statement. Okay. And what I'm gonna say is he's like Zaha. He gets a lot of the ball, but doesn't do a lot with it. Do you know what I'm about? saying? He's like Wilfred Zaha. He's so. not. He's about yeah. Mane. Mane. <laughs> He's yeah. like Zaha. I, I, think I hear you. That's, I, hear you. That's, I, hear you. I think that's the most you. fair. I final can third is Final nothing. third is not yeah. great, but if you can get someone else, like that's like a driller, mm -hmm. like goal scorer, you got he, yeah. Mane becomes a proper problem because he can get it like and go past someone. And then once he's broken those lines, if he now gives it to someone where they're not taking so many touches, they take the amount of touches that yeah. are necessary and they're going to get off the shot. And especially someone like Jota, who's like, probably our best finisher he's he's his finishing is like is great especially because he takes shots early mm. he, he you know he takes it early he's obviously he's both footed shooting and then you've got Salah as well who you know yeah, three no maybe out three chances yeah. he's going to bag one yeah. so you got those two as well then that's where it becomes now Liverpool start to now going in full flow Arsenal I can't lie they were a bit disappointing in terms of um, we made it easy for you yeah you did make it, it easy, easy. I, I can't lie it was it, it was a bit um Disappointing in that aspect. It was boring until we just scored, though. It, yeah, because it was it, it we was, was in yeah, control. It was, yeah, yeah, we yeah, was in control. Just wave yeah, off the wave. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we was in control. Session. Yeah, we was in control of it, but we didn't have that cutting edge. But mm -hmm. I knew, 
as soon as Jota came on, uh, that's when I was like, okay, cool, now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We've worn you out. Now it's time, you know what I'm saying, to, to get the goals and whatnot. And then, yeah, um, Trent, great ball. Standard ball for Trent. Um, my opinion, Southgate keep leaving Trent out the team, out of the England team. I'm more than happy. Don't take him to the Euros. Let him sit, you know. Obviously, for man's ego ain't great, but, you know, it's going to make him work harder um, and more rest as well. And then, yes, great goal. Jota, I think he's got, like, three headers in his last... His last three goals, sorry, have been headers mm. um, for Portugal and for Liverpool. Um, so yeah, so he's... Yeah, well. so he's... he's um, Obviously, he's picking up them positions. I like I like the movement, the little feint in. Yeah. Feint in. I don't know who it was. I think it might have been holding, sucked him in. Yep. Go oh, back. for the goal. Yeah, for the yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then, yeah, just kind of thing. Trent, obviously, understanding that. So that was a great goal. Um, Salah's, Salah's goal. Well. Fabinho, again, the ball over the top. That's, again, another ball, which we miss when Fabinho's not in the middle. First time, Salah's already on his back. He already yeah, knows that that ball's going, oh, yeah, it's going yeah. over the top. Um, you know, Salah got that pace to really just threaten Gabriel in behind. Um, and then, yeah, like, once he went, when, once he went through... Mm. Um, was a nice, was a nice finish. Nice little nutmeg on the keeper. Mm. Um, on Leno, yeah, two 0 cruising, got the lead that we deserve. At um, that point, our heads are yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, heads are gone. And then the third, goal and then it's just about being professional. And then the third goal, Gabriel from the back. Just gave uh, it. yeah, just literally just gave it away. <laughs> Trent again pressing, um, which I think he done quite well. Um, mm. on that side, um, during the game, I know. Um, what's his name? Got injured. But I think even during that as well, I think they must have like really um, looked at that before the game because there were times where Trent literally, as soon as that ball's going out, Trent was already like up there, like yeah, yeah, ready, yeah. Um, ready and gone in terms of the pressing. So yeah, Trent done well on on that one, um, and then yeah, it was just pretty yeah, simple. Your your tactics were spot on. Yeah, it was to just press was, us yeah. high. And then you're 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 gonna get the ball. Yeah, because... yeah, you're gonna get the ball because Arsenal <clears throat> don't have it long. They're not gonna do anything long, and and then no. obviously we have Phillips anyway. Phillips and can back that will win majority of it against what Lacazette. Yeah. Um, so it, yeah, no, it was a good game, easy, easy game, you know. And then obviously <clears throat> results went our way. Yeah. Um, that day. I think this whole weekend, really, to be fair, results have gone uh, Liverpool's way. I didn't even want top four, but <laughs> we're only two oh, points off yeah, top four now, so I didn't even yeah. want top four. But um, yeah. it's been—it seems like it was. Well, if United win today, it's going to be a good weekend for United and Liverpool. Because mm. um, yeah, because Leicester lost, Chelsea lost, um, Tottenham drawn. Um, <laughs> Big up Willock. Big up Willock, Willock, yeah, for his thing. Um, Everton and I think Everton and West Ham are playing tomorrow uh, on Monday so um, they they will have the chance to go above us they might actually go into the top four I think either West Ham I think West Ham will go back in the top four if they win um, but yeah, I yeah, think top four it's, might it's, but yeah. top four is just, like I don't even want it the thing is I don't even want top four but it looks like they just want to give us top four so mm. we'll just Arsenal, have to take Arsenal it Arsenal do Arsenal do Huh? Arsenal wants to give you top four. Not even Arsenal. It's the whole the whole league, fam. Yeah. Leicester, yeah. Leicester yeah, drop Leicester points. points. Chelsea drop points. points. Chelsea especially. Yeah, but you see, ha, bro. But Leicester, won, you see Leicester crazy. picking up points. And I can you see, see Leicester, and Chelsea, so Leicester come. have a tough end to the season. I think they've got tough three games. I think they've got City, United. Yeah, I think we've still got you to play. Uh, we, yeah, we've still got us to play. But they've got a loss. they got the last three games. It's tough. Um, if obviously, we'll probably put it up on the screen. But I remember their last three games are tough games to the, to end the season so um they're, they're still thing um Everton I think have two games in hand um mm. so if they win those I think they go into the top four so uh, yeah it's it's heating up but um yeah I, I'm happy with it like I said that's what I'm saying Liverpool starting to make me believe again <laughs> like that's what I'm saying the wins are starting to come back I think that's like two or three wins in a row so um yeah I can't complain man it's been it's been a, it's been a good weekend um I need Martinelli to play Thursday, start, start, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aubameyang is calm. No, can't no, no, start no. He's a right off the season. Yeah, yeah. Martinelli needs to play. Yeah. Whether it be nine or on the left, I don't he think has he, to I play. don't think he should start. I think he should come on. No, he needs to start. No, he, has uh, to start. He, has to start. he has to start. He has to start, man. He's injury. He's, he what? He started at, when he came back from injury the first time, and you know, put him starting, putting him up front. It, the injury aggravated. Yeah, have a consistent run of games. We bought him no, in. No, when he we, came we, back from injury. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. And then he was injured maybe four games after that. 
four or five games after that. Yeah, but when, you, when you're when you coming from a long injury, you're going to pick up little ones. You're yeah. going to pick up little knocks, which he got, which is fine. We expected that. Mm-hmm. But the way we're treating him, it's like he's glass. Yeah. Like, he's come from a big injury. I get that. Cool. And he's played a few minutes here and there. We're, we're bringing him back slowly. Yeah. But now, it's just like, all right, unless there's something we don't know that he just keeps dropping in the training sessions or something, he has to play. He has to. But we'll see. Obviously, Thursday, we, we'll see. He has we to don't start. know how severe his injuries are, innit? So obviously. We don't. I, I'm, so, I'm, only, I'm, only, so I'm only talking on If you were a gaffer, you'd be but a if he's fit, If he's <laughs> fit, he has to play. He had Lacazette, Martinelli, and Saka. Yeah. Hopefully, if we get him injured, yeah. that's our best front three. Yeah, yeah. And Smith mm-hmm. Rowe can come in. We got Odegaard, Pepe. but Pepe as well. He's been playing. Yeah, well. Pepe's been, been playing, playing well. well. Um, but yeah, we we need to make a change. But yeah, anyways. But um, why not? Like, uh, if Saka comes back, mm. then put Saka on the the left and put Saka could play, and then yeah. Pepe on the right. Yeah. And either then, either way, at, at least there's options. Yeah. At yeah. least there's options. Yeah. But again. Uh, we consistently pay Obama Young and he's given us nothing. He's our star player, but this season he's done absolutely nothing. So he doesn't merit to play. Dele captain Sanchez. or no captain. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't merit to play. Yeah, yeah. Martelly needs to play. Dele Sanchez, I told you. Sign yeah. that contract and play shit. I don't cause. know. I, I, something, something, something <laughs> off. Sanchez, something's man. off with him. I don't, I'm not going to get into it, but something's off with him. The hair Whether style. his outfield stuff, I don't know. Mm. But this season Alice's, is a right. Uh, Alice's mustache is giving me jokes. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a 70s porn star. Bro. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what Alice is doing. <laughs> he's bored, bro. Hey, he's he's yeah, giving me a quick yeah, change. Man, yeah, he's, he's just bored. <laughs> you should trademark that, you know. I said, uh, look at little listen, bag. He looks Mad. But nah, yeah, but he didn't have anything. I don't think was, he had a save to make. But was, yeah, I don't think so as well. But we, we were going to say Chelsea, Chelsea. Wow. That one there. 5 2. That one there. That was a Sam mad Allardyce one. Allardyce masterclass. Yo, man, like. <laughs> All right, first question. Does Silver deserve to get sent off red card? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, it, was, uh, it was silly to, to block like that with the foot. But it was unlucky because. But it's of, late. Yeah, but it's just late. You, you've made the, the contact, so yeah, it is where it is. But that there, Chelsea, boy, that's crazy. And everyone's like gassing Thomas as like, oh, they've not conceded at Stamford yeah, Bridge yeah, yeah. and all these things. And then you concede five. Five. That's crazy against West Brom. Yeah. But West Brom played very well. Welcome to the Premier League. They hit, listen, West Brom played very, very well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They, um, yeah, no, they did still. Pereira was... Yeah, he was badding them up, boy. <laughs> like Iniesta, God bro. damn, <laughs> he was badding them up, boy. But yeah. um, yeah, no, I, I couldn't even believe it. Like they, because Chelsea went ahead one nil. Mm. Um, think Alonso's free kick and then Pulisic scored, and you're thinking, oh, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. like Chelsea are gonna, just you know gonna what I mean? Yeah, now. just cruise through this, yeah, and, and whatnot, and then just that just just capitulated. Well, had the red card, mm-hmm. and then. Just capitulated. It was, yeah. just, it was mad. It was like, um, yeah, it was bad. yeah. Jorginho, boy, he he um, basically was given the ball away, which then led to Silva mm-hmm. getting sent off, um, having to think. Uh, yeah, Rich James, want to shout him out because there's a lot of slander on Trent's name, but mm. that man got dribble pass at five times <laughs> that game. Yeah. Got dribble past five times that game was at fault in terms of the build up for one of the goals. Yeah. Um that's what I'm saying. It's just these these things that happen with other right backs, it's never that's highlighted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because you you expect so much from Trent. That's why yeah, we set we set a standard. No, so but when that no, standard's not but here. You know it is defensively because I, I get the attacking bit, but the defensive bit, when the other defenders make like these types of mistakes, mm-hmm. it's never highlighted. But when yeah. it's Trent, mm-hmm. it's like, oh my God, this guy can't defend at all. But if my man got dribbled past five times against Arsenal yeah. and then was at fault for one of the goals as well, Yo, then you'd be like, oh, see, this is why Southgate dropped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it would it's be true. one. It would be yeah, one of those. Did you set it's the bar true. for him? I I like Trent. I think he's amazing. Obviously, we all have a standard for Trent. When Trent was on the pitch, we expect mm. a certain standard. Yeah. So when he doesn't hit his standard, to us it's like, come on, man, fix up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like this shouldn't. This shouldn't even be a conversation. Do you know what I mean? In yeah. terms of him being subpar right now, do you know what I mean? Like he should yeah. be at, like he should be one of the like more of the leaders now that Van Dyke's not in the back four. He should be one of the persons that who should really main. Everyone should look to him nine times out of ten. Nah, I wouldn't say so. But no. what I think is well, in, in terms think, of Phillips, yeah. Phillips, and who else? Back. 
Come back. Yeah. No. And Robertson. Uh, and the Robert- thing is, uh, this is what I say with Trent. This season, Trent hasn't been as bad as everyone has made him out to be. What it is, is the games that he's had, say, bad games have been, um, obviously, he's been, like, crucified for them. And then when he's played well, because obviously people don't want, don't consistently watch Liverpool. Like I, I can watch maybe seventy percent of Arsenal. I can watch mm-hmm. maybe seventy percent of United, but I'm not gonna watch all of your games in it. Mm. So the games that he does play well, it's crickets. Do you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But then when he doesn't play well, then that's the thing. It's like Thiago. When Thiago plays well, it's quiet. No like now, play, yeah. Thiago played well, control the game. It's no quiet anything, because yeah. it's gonna be like, oh, that's it's it's expected. But then. Say he doesn't have a game where he's controlling the game completely. Oh, this bad guy, game, yeah. he's bad game. All, up, all he does is thumbs up, thumbs up, merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? So it's, it's all. But I think it, I think is 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 to what Peter which it does said, lean into yeah, the yeah, standard it's, it's, is it's a standard yeah. that yeah. they set. Like Trent going forward, we've not seen anything like this. Yeah, yeah. In, oh, wow. I, it, I can't remember. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Ever. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Roberto Carlos was very good. Left no, back. in the league. In, oh, in, Premier in League. The prem, like I, I couldn't tell you that Ashley Cole, but again. Ashley Cole was fire, but he could... No, he, he was, but he never got forward. double assist. Going forward is... Going forward, Trent, Trent is the best. out of this world, bro. Like, he could play in But then you can say the game of football has changed. We, we, they, back then, they didn't really rely on their fullbacks. We're not in terms of the formation, how the game is played. We rely on fullbacks. Fullbacks yeah. are very important in the game. Back then, they weren't. But they, I, no, they that's still was. No. Yeah, they still was. Because when, when we had Ashley Cole and Lauren, they yeah. were doing yeah. that. They were flying forward. Even for they Chelsea, were over, even for Chelsea, yeah, even he for was Chelsea, like yeah. he was a main guy. It's 100%. just that attacking wise, there's not been They're a trend. They're putting it on a plate. There like, hasn't been a trend. Yeah, mm. no. Nah. Trent to hit yeah. an assist record and then break his own assist yeah, record the season after. It's for mad. a defender. That's yeah. yeah it's, it's, that's it's, Trent's it's yeah. Obviously, his output. <laughs> even I think Robertson as well, um, low key as well. Like yeah. Like I said, Loki, he might Robles, be coming for that, Robles, that Ashley man. Cole legacy, fam. The way, he, the consistency, if, if he the stays, consistency yeah. Robertson is playing that, he's he Loki coming for that, he's still got that, a that legacy. Go, he's, it's just obviously trophies wise, um, yeah, yeah. Th- that aspect. But I think consistency wise, from I would say the middle of 2017 or 2018 till now, I don't think there's been a better left back no. in, no, no, in, no. in Europe, hasn't. in Europe <clears> at all. So, I don't think so anyway. But yeah, no, Chelsea, like yeah, let me not just um wane from Chelsea. Um yeah, so yeah, game. that that game Very there, Pereira, game. and it's like it's kinda of, cause they, they drew to someone as well. Um recently as well. Who? At home. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea have had some like not bad results, but like draws and stuff that's kind of stumbled them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like Liverpool have lost six out of we was on like one of our worst ever runs. We lost six out of eight. For Liverpool to only be two points of the top four mm-hmm. is like because remember Chelsea were on a good run as well, the yeah. on unbeaten run. So it's a bit, do you know what I mean? It's a bit weird. Like, um, but yeah, no, it's a bit crazy. I think uh, Kovacic as well. I don't know that. Drew, I just think that game was just. It's just one poor. of them weird games. You're gonna get them in a prem. Yeah, like you're just gonna get one of them weird games where it's just mad. Like if you go bookies, <laughs> but I, clean, but, but just I don't know if if it's just a one off or is it something worrying with Chelsea because I think it's good that they lost the way they did though because I think the next game yeah that they can't afford because I think like you said like the the game before they yeah. drew yeah so there's been cracks yeah and Sam <laughs> master Sam Allardyce would just figure that one out but I feel like it's good that they lost that so there's goods in losses sometimes like you, yeah you just yeah wake up from that as I like, listen come back down to earth but it was a great win from West Brom though take nothing from him yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's a good win. Helps them. Hopefully, they still get relegated because yeah, yeah, yeah. they can still get. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully they still get relegated. I think but, they will. Though. But um, will. yeah, no, it's Basically crazy. It's crazy. Would you think? Of, would you feel about Aguero? Oh, leaving. Mm. End of I the f- season. I think, I He's got it, a statue now. He's got a statue. Yeah, well, it's been confirmed. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Um, City's best ever player. Yeah, yeah. Nah. For me, it's yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver. I think silver. I think silver. I'll say Aguero. I think silver. I think silver just played at. Uh, what about company? Level. Company. What about company? Shot. I think uh, I don't know if I read it. I don't know how true this is, but those three company silver Aguero statues have been confirmed. Yeah, they yeah. should be. They yeah. should be a yeah, yeah, one too. Yeah. No arguments with the three players in it. Nah. Because nah, nah. I, I saw a few people talking about Yaya. Yeah, he should be there. 
But do you feel he's at City nah. long enough though to merit the statue? To be a, I don't I, think so. I, I, to be a statue, no, I don't think he yeah. merits a statue. I don't know. I just don't. Think, I think Aguero, Silva, and company have just did he not done win? More. Did he not win the Premier League? Yeah, he's won. Yeah, he has. What, just one? No, no, one, I think two. two. He's won two. Yeah, he won he's two. won two. But, but I just yeah, but I, I think feel the longevity the with three, the other three players. The other yeah. three have done more. Yeah, I think so too. That's it. That's the only I think thing. the impact Yaya had is Big on, on on the same line as the yeah. other three players. But I think the longevity with Silver Aguero and company merits the statue. But yeah. what Aguero is leaving at the end of the season. So do you see him at another Prem team? Yeah. Do you see him going La Liga? Nah. Do you see him going? If he doesn't go to Barcelona, he's going Chelsea. And if he doesn't that's Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. No, he's not going to Chelsea. Nah, of course he'll go. Why? Why not? Because he, he said he wants to still stay. He still wants to uh, stay in the Premier League. He still wants a Premier League career. He's not going to Man United. He's not going to go Liverpool. Mm, I don't see him going Chelsea though. So if he's to stay in the Premier League, where is he going to go? I'm not. Sure. I don't see it because I don't know. he's I don't got know high him. wages. Yeah, he has got Chelsea high wages. But Chelsea have money. Precisely. But, but Chelsea have but Giroud. Why would? Yeah, you no. But they they they're just getting more wages. Think, they they can just I cover wages. That's that's fine to them. No, but I think Chelsea will go for someone younger. Chelsea will be in a bid for Mbappe Haaland. Whether they will go to Chelsea, different conversation, yeah. but they can be in that room and start bidding. Chelsea have maybe the like money. Maybe like a Lukaku or something, maybe. Who? Chelsea. What, Chelsea, you mm. think so? No, I think Man City, if Lukaku, Lukaku will go Man City. Why? Well, Pep's already come out and said that. Because they didn't sign a striker. If they were going to sign a striker, it would have been Haaland, Haaland or Kane. Yeah, but they, Kane. Pepe said he ain't got the money for that. They ain't, Man City ain't got the money for Pepe I don't or um, um, Mbappe. I don't believe him. Yeah, I don't believe him. Haaland's going for 150. That's the starting. But speaking of Haaland, his and representatives have gone to Spain yeah. to talk to what? Barcelona, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Do you read much into that or is it just like... It just talks, I think. It just yeah. talks at the moment. I think no, he's coming confirmed. to England. They're yeah, but confirmed. I think he's coming to England No, he's already well. here. So... It's, it's well, he's coming to England, confirmed. No, no, his, his, man, agent, his, yeah. his agents has come agent. to. They're here. Oh, they come. They're, oh, here. Yeah, they're yeah. here. So they just they're shopping around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him to go to Spain. I think that'd be a waste. Nah, I want him to go to Spain. If you he's not coming so? to Liverpool, I don't want him to go. Sp- I, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't want him in the league. But I don't <laughs> want him in the league. I, I think if he does go to Real Madrid, I, f- I don't know. I just, I just think right now he should go to Real Madrid. Why? Um, what Harlem or like Benzema? That take take kind of. But yeah, but they're kind of different strikers. They're different strikers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's. Is Zima I mean, still bags? Yes, he does. Is Zima still bags every week? But yeah. I don't know. I don't want to see. I do want him to be in the Prem, but I don't. Because I don't. it's, it's curtains. Go, go Barcelona. Go Barcelona. He's definitely not coming to Arsenal, but it's curtains. <laughs> <for us. laughs> yeah. So. Um, go Barcelona or something, man. Who? Haaland? Yeah. I know Barcelona are broke, but they'll figure out a way to get some money, man. So they're broke, broke. He's just getting messy off that wage yeah bill, yeah that's yeah, what i'm saying that wage bill. they should have just sold Crazy. him when they had the chance they just, should have so, just, just get take the peas i would have took the peas yeah no they should have i would have took the peas bro i don't know man it's 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 crazy like aguero um i would have took the peas what, what if really. he was barca i would have cashed in bro yeah but it's it's a bit more deeper than that, now. it's a bit I'm more deeper now. like la liga don't want messi to go like, yeah. not even Barca. Like, that's the, their the business. Whole, yeah, it's, it's a bit mad. That's all politics and that. But, um, yeah, because it's attraction, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's like Ronaldo going, you're going to lose bare money. Like, yeah, people tuning in. Mm-hmm. And who cares about El Clasico now? Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, dead. I don't care. it's dead. No one cares, bro. It's what is your El Clasico now? City, Liverpool. Yeah, that's a, that's mine personally. I don't see why not. Yeah. I don't see why not. It's mine personally. Yeah, PJ, talk to us. United. United. What are you saying? How's it I know looking? they're they're live right now. Who yeah. they playing against? Brighton. Yeah. yeah, they're playing against Brighton. Oh, uh, uh, United at home. Yeah. Okay. But pressure. So Brighton have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because wait, we're, we're dominant, isn't it? Are we? Nah, I'm joking. Nah, they'll probably United should win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, who yeah. talk to us? Who's in the lineup? So you got Cavani up front. You got. Uh, Rashford playing on the left, Greenwood on the right. You have Pogba <laughs> playing, Fred. Um, who else in the middle? Tommy. No, Br- uh, Bruno. And you got Pogba, Bruno, and Fred. Fred. Okay. Okay, and left back you got Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof on the right. You got A W B. Mm. With the Basaka. Yeah, with the Basaka, with the, with the shoulder fake that <laughs> CJ likes to do. <laughs> I keep, telling, I keep telling these guys, bro. The shoulder fake. Respect yeah. the shoulder it's only, fake. It's only man. like 10 minutes into, 10, 11 minutes into the game, 11 minutes into the game right now. So, yeah, we, we seem dominant. We a couple ways. We had two chances already. So, yeah, man. You hit the post. Mm, so. Yeah, okay. 
So the boys are they seem hungry. We need the we need the win after the loss in the FA Cup. So we're out of the tournament now. Mm. Do you know what oh I mean? Oh yeah, you lost to Leicester. Yeah, three yeah, yeah. one. We got battered. Mm. Zimmy. So yeah, man, they need the win now. Need a bit of confidence. Get the run going. Oh yeah. This y- thing. Europa League. We got was it Gren- Grenada? What was it called? Oh, Grenada. 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 Yeah. In yeah. Europa Granada. League. Oh, Granada. 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 Yes, I said it. Yeah. 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 I was like, hold on. I said Grenada, and I was like, what is going on, guys? Grenada. Grenada. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So we should be all right. It's mad. I think this this transfer window. I think there's going to be a lot of activity. Um, for your clubs, do you think there'll be more ins and outs? More outs than ins, um, a few more I loans. Think outs for Liverpool, because I think we'll get Shakiri off the books. Um, Gundogan definitely. Oh, he's on a free, so it doesn't really Who? matter. Uh, Genie, sorry, Genie. Oh, one out of them. Yeah. Oh, like Gundogan. Like, he ain't going yeah. nowhere. <laughs> sorry, <I was laughs> yeah, we've got Genie. Uh, Hopefully, he he leaves. Um, did I see somewhere that Barcelona didn't want him in anymore? <laughs> yeah, he might go Italy. Oh, okay. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> Just go. Club. Just go. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't even care where you go, where you decide. Because realistically, there's not going to be a lot of ins, I don't think, for... I think for Liverpool, club. there'll be... A lot of ins. I'm talking three or more. I can see three for Liverpool. Really? What? Yeah. Three ins? What, what for? Starting players or yeah, squad I've, players? I see Liverpool Center getting, two, s- as getting that Quebec now to mm-hmm. sign um, permanently because we've gone on loan. Getting, um, I think, Konate, um the RB, yeah, RB Leipzig, Leipzig centre back. Okay. Is it confirmed? Um, though? It's not confirmed, oh, but okay. it's Liverpool likely. Are basically front runners yeah, for yeah, yeah. Like, where cool. we're in. The, but I imagine a centre back. We're gonna. I think we're gonna get a centre back. It'll probably be him. So I, I see that's. We're in so you're two. not gonna get no one to replace. I see a midfielder coming in um, for one of them. Um, I, yeah, I just see a midfielder coming in um, and possibly an attacker. So I see like maybe four. And then there's probably a backup right back. I actually want um, Maitland Niles um, because I think he's yeah, going to leave Arsenal. I think he's going to leave, which is. It's, you don't know how I feel about yeah, Maitland Niles. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him to go. I want to leave. He wants I, 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 I want him um, for Liverpool just as a good backup option I don't to think Trent. He'll go Liverpool, man. Why? Why not? He wants to play. He wants starting football. He, he wants starting football. He, he come. Could, he could, well, a lot of other teams that want him. Leicester want him. Wolves he wanted. Start at Leicester. He could go yeah. West Ham. Um, he could start at Wolves. He wants to start he at Leicester. Start Wolves, Leicester, West Ham. West Ham. I don't think he'll start. They got um, Grufa. Yeah, but the thing with Maitland Niles, he can play more than one position, so it would be good but to have. But he wants start in football. I don't gonna, want him to leave. Who's gonna um, get Bellerin out of my club, man? But um, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> so live report. Uh, United. I just conceded the goal by Danny yes. Welbeck. Welbeck. <laughs> Danny Welbeck. Danny yeah. Rose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just came through yeah. to my phone now. Did he celebrate? I don't know. Oh, heck off. <laughs> he got it. Nah, you know, he got, Danny, he got lucky. You know. He got lucky, he got but lucky. It, it, was, it was, no, he, he won the header. Yeah. Came in, but like Henderson. ghosted. Boom, won the header. Henderson saved, didn't it? But yeah. just ricocheted back onto his head, didn't it? Oh and then it went back in. But he was done well to win the head off still. Yeah, he did. I told you. <laughs> what do you want to do? Hey, <laughs> uh, you've lost. We haven't lost. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. This Don't is the right. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. Yeah. Don't laugh at me yet, my friend. This is, that's fine. But boy, boy. Lindelof under the head off. Wan-Bissaka. can see him coming. He's on Lind- Basically, he's on Lindelof's blind side, isn't it? But, but Wan-Bissaka can see him coming. Okay. So I kind of... For that, for what I've seen so far, I would kind of blame Wan Bissaka because he's got in front of Wan Bissaka. Yeah, he has. Yeah, I blame Wan Bissaka because he's come on Lindelof's blind side, so mm-hmm. he's in between the right side and the back and, and the right back. And then, yeah, Wan Bissaka didn't Wan-Bissaka, give him the shout. Uh, didn't give him a shout, but then he tried to tuck in to to actually win the header. Oh, okay. But Welbeck got ahead of him, won the header. Um, then it's saved by Henderson and just come straight back to Welbeck who just nodded it in. United will still probably come back, you know, penalty in that, you know, the ones there. Yeah, 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 obviously. Get Bruno on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bruno is on it. Yeah. You no, know I'm saying get Bruno on Oh, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. Bruno on the penalty. <laughs> yeah, like Salah. Like Salah. <sighs> but yeah, Salah back top. Actually, he's not even top goal scorer. Kane is as yeah. well now. Uh, yeah. Kane got two. What are we saying about Kane? Kane needs to leave Tottenham. He's, he's a fool. He signed to death row records, fam. <laughs> 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 Ain't going nowhere. Listen. But is that down to Tottenham or down to him? Him. Tottenham. Him. 
It's down to him. What, him going somewhere? Because he signed. Yeah, he signed, but... Signed to Death Row Records. It's true. It's true, mm. he did sign an extension. Because you keep yeah. signing extensions, you're just making it more harder for you to leave the club. How old is yeah. he now? What, 27, 28? Yeah, around that. So, yeah. he's just making it tough. He needs to leave now. So he's but gonna he's go. not going to leave this summer because no one's going to pay the money that 100, Tottenham want. 100, 120 they want for him. They'll probably even want more. Yeah. Oh. And no one's going to pay that. In COVID times, no one's going to pay that. 120, I don't see it. Yeah. No one's going to pay that. I think United will. United no. will definitely pay. Nah, I don't nah, think so. I not think under Oli. I think Oli. United want to strengthen um, the team around. I'm, I can see United buying a centre-back and a midfielder. Mm. We need a striker, a right winger, centre back. They're, no, there's still a right winger, I've, Sancho. If I've, they still want, we Sancho. need a defensive midfielder though. In that, we need a defensive yeah. midfielder. Fred and McTominay are not the ones to to be. I in see that. them. I see them getting a thing, um, a a um, a midfielder, mm. whether it be the centre defensive midfielder. Then that's there's still the possibility of Pogba going, which then they will still need to replace that, and that's if. Oli sees Van der Beek as the long term, but I probably still reckon he'll get another midfielder in as well. Yeah. Um, centre back, so that's probably like three. Um, and a right wing. And then Do probably and right then central if they still want central, and mm. then to then get Kane on top of that, you're looking at like a three hundred million summer. And Oli, that money would not be spent at United. It's not going to be spent. That would not that's be spent. That's a lot. I feel like this summer that's we a have lot. a lot out. That's a lot of money, I'm, unless. Oli just goes, F it. I'm just going for Kane. Yeah. Which I just can't see him doing that. What happened? It doesn't make sense. I think it. if he just goes for Kane, that's a gamble, though. Because, because if what you, you get Kane, get you service. don't need a DM. No, but you do. Because the thing is, you can have a Kane. DM. You don't need a DM if you have Kane. You, you do. do. You yeah. just, no, you don't. Of because you. United, what they're going to do with Kane, you're just going to outscore everyone. No. That's what you need to do. No. If United, you have Kane, if nah, you have Kane, nah. you don't need a DM. United need to fix the, the They need to fix their CB before they fix their DM. Yeah, their CB are more important than a DM. Both. But if you get a, if you get a centre back yeah. and get Kane, you don't need a DM. You do need a DM. No, you don't. You, you still do. need structure that midfield. You, you need still. to structure the midfield, bro. The midfield so. is the I'm most. Talking, I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm not saying that you don't need it, as in don't go for it. But I'm just talking about the importance. If you do get Kane, yeah, where do you go after that? I'm not you sure. got Kane, so where right. do you go now? Let me, ask, do you you, fix let me ask you a question. Do you feel that Liverpool will be? Where they are now about Fabinho, if they just had Van Dyke and no, that strike course. force, of course not. So then, that's, what I'm saying. that's your but, point. But that's your point. I but think if, if they have, I but think they still had Fabinho mm. at centre back. No, I'm saying take out Fabinho. Yeah. If Liverpool yeah. don't have Fabinho mm-hmm. at all, do you, do you feel like they'll be where they and are? And they now? still had Van Dyke and Gomez. Yeah, that, no, that's it. Yeah, if they have Van Dyke and Gomez and no Fabinho, then yes. No, yes, no. I, don't I, don't think think I don't think it'll work. I don't think it'll work. It won't so. work. I think so. It won't work. Do you work. think they're going to lose? They lost six games on a trot. Yeah. Do you think that happens if Van Dyke and Gomez are playing? But we ain't Impossible. winning. We ain't winning anything. You're not losing it, though. We're not winning anything. Mm, I don't know. We're not for being your. We're going to have. So, like you said, when I was doing the England squad, and I said I'd have Henderson as DM, mm. and then I'll have. So, if you have. I wouldn't put Henderson DM. I wouldn't put him in DM. So, what would you put on the right? Genie's gone. Yeah. Right Gen- over three. So Gini's gone. So you put in DM. Fabinho. No, no. Fa- there's no Fabinho. Gini's oh, it'd gone. be uh, Henderson. Hen- Henderson. 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 What are you talking Kane? about? What was the question? Sorry? So if you about? take out Fabinho, <laughs> I said if you take out Fabinho, yeah. Yeah. So you have no Fabinho in yeah. your squad, yeah. Right. And now you've got. And you said one other. And, and gone. Gini's gone. Yeah. Build Henderson. Your mi- build your mi- middle three. Henderson is Henderson, DM. Henderson. Yeah. Keita Kater and Tigo. Yeah. So uh, with Gomez and. With Gomez and Van Dijk at the back, they're still conceding goals. Still concede. Yeah, but obviously, but that's the, but that's not but the your, case. Your point is you don't. <laughs> your point is if you got two cent- good centre backs, you don't need a defensive midfielder. That's your point. No, I'm talking about those specific players. You've taken it as you've you've taken two midfielders out of the equation that are still at Liverpool. Well, now them still plays there. Mm-hmm. Like it's just so. I I would say personally that. If United fixed, say, the centre-backs, DMs, they would actually get more out of the strikers they have now. So instead of blowing that money on Kane, fix that first and then, um, say, what, next summer, then go in for Kane if, you know, you, you need um, a better striker. Because that structure is what's messing them up of the centre-backs not being good enough. Obviously, it's going to be Lindelof that will get replaced. Mm -hmm. Um, And then a DM as well um, to help, you know, United flourish and whatnot. That will 
then help the structure. Then you can now focus on maybe getting a right winger to now start getting the service into the strikers. So I think that's what they should do rather than say Kane and a DM or Kane and a centre back. Like, so fix would you that. would you get a DM and a centre back over say Kane and a DM or Kane and a centre back? I would, I would get, even go for Kane. Yeah, I would, I would, get, get, I would get a centre back and a DM over getting Kane. Fair enough. Well, I did say like getting Kane is like a gamble. It was either going to pay off, and you don't necessarily need a DM and a CB, or you get him, and you get one of the two out of DM or CB. Uh, do you know what I mean? But I don't think you're going to cover all three within one transfer window. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. But I think with Kane, it's like it's not a gamble, but it's like if you don't play him with the right facilities around him, he won't shine. He's not going to shine. But if you now start to structure Kane the team... Kane and Rashford team, up top. Just put Rashford on the left. Yeah, g- g- yeah but what, yeah. he's doing the same thing with Son. Son plays out wide. Kane likes to drop in deep. You could do, kind of do the same thing with Rashford. Yeah, he can kind of do the same, but Rashford ain't as good as Son. No, of course not. But I'm saying, you know, that could be worked on. <laughs> it could... No, 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 it can't be worked on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offense to the Rashford lovers out on. there, but yeah, like, he, he ain't Son, fam. I like, I don't know. I think no. it's interesting. Rashford, think Rashford thinks he's Neymar fam, so he ain't gonna be. You know what I mean? <laughs> he does think he's Neymar. He thinks he's Neymar fam. He does. He does. He yeah. does too much. Sometimes. He does too much, fam. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, like I, I think if if you can do that, um, you would have a you you get more of what you've got in terms of the attacking players. Even you know, obviously his ex boy Martial, and that you would get more <laughs> out of these. You know what I'm saying? Like you get more out of these guys, Cavani. You would get more, especially Cavani. He's a movement striker. Yeah. You would you would get more if he's getting more service. But mm. it's 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 fixing that aspect of it that United need to do. But yeah, I I don't see Kane moving anyway. Like I said, my man signed to Death Row Records. <laughs> Daniel Levy, he ain't letting you go nah, nowhere. Not at, all. not at all. 120. I don't even think 120. I think he'll laugh you out the room, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. What 150 and up. Cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. No, he's, he's still, minimum. He's still only got two years left in his contract, isn't it? After the season. Yeah, that's, that's enough. That's more than enough. That's not yeah. even his. How much is his wages? We, we sold Coutinho for one something. Yeah. And I think he had like two, 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 two years left as well. Yeah, but Coutinho, how old is Coutinho now? It's probably the same age as Kane. He's around the same age bracket. But you're getting him on form. But would you say in the same the class bracket? Or would you say in terms of quality? At the time when Coutinho, Coutinho was probably one of the best players in the league yeah he was like literally especially that role that we made for him yeah. and then Kane, Kane is now the best striker Kane in the is league. like probably now the best center forward in the league yeah I wouldn't say the best striker because oh you know, sorry CF that's what yeah. I'm talking about yeah yeah that's what I'm talking about no I'm joking now but yeah no in terms of being a striker he's probably the best in the league so 100% so yeah I mean and you're getting him now the season he's yeah. having now like double digits assists double digits goals yeah. like you're getting him on fire now yeah so um, this is like the bet, like you're gonna pay. That's what I'm saying. It's like just wait now. I think Tottenham was gonna be like wait, and then once it's like COVID team uh, teams have like started to recover, then no, he's. Do you feel like his legacy is gonna be dampered if he stays at Tottenham? Hundred and ten percent. It depends because there's Doesn't some anything. there's there's some legends. Like say Shira, Shira's only won one prem. Yeah, no one talks yeah, but at least Shira. at least Shira, but, but he's Shira's won sometimes. I know, we, but he's know won. But when we talk yeah. amongst ourselves, we never mention Shira. Yeah, but Shira wasn't a great player. He was just a great striker. Cool. Exactly. But, but do you, Kane is a great player. He has a, a lot more of his, his game. overall game yeah. than Shira. That's why I think isn't considered like Van Persie only won mm-hmm. one prem, but yeah. he has more to his game than Shira did. Shira yeah. just had. He could get more. He could get more goals, let's say, and had longevity yeah. in his pr- in his prime years. He was getting more goals than say Van Persie was getting. That's so it. would we talk Kane in the same bracket as the Suarez, the Agueros, the Henrys? I think so. As long as he wins one, I don't. He has to win something. I think just under. Yeah. I f- yeah. But if he doesn't just win, under. if he doesn't win. Yeah, uh, I talk about ability wise as well on the but ball. Is that why wise. you're talking about? That's how you're saying that. No, no, you're a bit, uh, no uh, uh, yeah, we're just talking about his legacy. So overall, so goals, what you've won, ability, everything overall. Yeah. So we talk about the Suarez on Reza, whereas but they're all within the same bracket. In a way, you could actually put him there because they were in better teams. He's in a whacker team and he's yeah, doing but that's it. That's his detriment. He stayed at Tottenham, so that's that's what the question I asked. If he stays at Tottenham, yeah. does yeah. that take away from his legacy? And I say yes. Because you're staying at Tottenham. He could have moved two years ago. He could have moved three years ago and gone to a better team and won something. But 
He's loyal. Oh, okay. No. Like Totti. But Totti, players like this that and are And we don't talk about Totti. We don't. Even though he's an absolute, absolute, point, absolute baller. Yeah. No, Totti's an absolute baller. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But he's never in that discussion of what? Great. Because yeah, he never won anything. Greats. He only won like what? One like Italian league yeah. maybe if yeah. that. Yeah. Like we, we never talk about his overall ability or his talent. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not even a conversation. But he's not even in the conversation because he's just not won anything. He's a baller, nah. absolutely, but he's not. He's not. We never talk about Totti. No, but I wouldn't say we won't, we don't talk about Totti because we're talking about if we was talking, we're talking about centre forwards. That do you know what I'm saying? We're talking about yeah. strikers. Like Totti was like a more of a ten type of player, like a like a Del, like kind of like what Del Piero was. Mm-hmm. And then if you're saying like Totti and Del Piero, Totti was a way better player than Del Piero. But yeah, he was. But. Um, Del, Piero Del Piero was just was in a winning a team. team. He was at a winning team. Yeah, but that doesn't take. Something. But that doesn't take away from uh, Totti's legacy. No, it, it doesn't take away from Totti's legacy. But we're always going to talk about Del Piero first before we mention Totti. That's my point. Yeah, but Totti's yeah. got a legacy because everyone knows about Totti. So yeah, of course. But, but um, this is like mm. this conversation now. It seems like I'm trying to rub him out. I'm not. I'm you're just not saying. To rub I'm, him I'm out. just. I'm just saying that your legacy could be dampened a little bit. Yeah, it if can be that your loyalty stays within one club and you're not necessarily winning much. But what We're does, just but what does that, that but what does if you're performing, yeah, mm-hmm. and your team isn't performing, yeah, you're still performing. That doesn't take away from him. Yeah, so but you're still performing at mm-hmm. a high level. Mm-hmm. So what does that take away? Because when it's all said and legacy? done, what have you won? So now you're when just talking it, about winning. Just, you're not talking about the actual player. You're, no, wait. no, but I'm never just talking about just the player though. We're talking about Kane, mm-hmm. and he's not won nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I've not spoken to him about his ability. He can do everything. Yeah. He can do absolutely everything. But you, his cabinet at home or wherever, it's empty. There's nothing there. Okay. So it does take away from his legacy a little bit. It dampens it. I'm not talking about his ability. Mm-hmm. His ability is always there. Questionable. Same thing with Totti, Del Piero, anyone. We can go down the list, but it takes away from it because he's not won nothing. At the end of the day, what have you won? You see what I'm I saying? don't what have you guys won? I don't I don't I don't agree I personally don't agree. I, I think if you're playing at a high level and you're you're being loyal to a team it's not like if he moved to a team and that team was whack and he was just like yeah I'm just gonna stay at the team mm-hmm. out of loyalty I can understand but this is his boyhood club mm-hmm. do you get what I'm saying it's like something it's similar with Grealish mm-hmm. it's his boyhood club so if he's staying there out of loyalty yeah I can't really I, I can't really like hold that against him, especially if he's playing mm-hmm. at a higher level mm-hmm. than guys that have been winning things but I haven't been playing as well as Harry Kane has been playing. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. But I well, you let up, us know. Yeah. You let us know in the comments what you guys think. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's our time, guys. Thank you for tuning in to our episode of Roll On, Roll Off, the podcast. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. Yeah. And just send someone the link to this. Yeah, bust someone on roll on roll off. And we got some, you know, some stuff coming as well. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? We got 100%. some, we got some stuff coming still. But yeah, man, keep it locked. Mm-hmm. Same time next week. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace, people.